What's up YouTube, my name is Smitty and welcome to my truck and travel channel. Today we're going to be starting on a new project, the one right behind me, which is a 2019 Toyota RAV4. This thing has quite a bit of storage, so we're going to make a little mini camper out the back. But before we can do that, we have to remove everything from inside, like anything on the seats, um, the floor mats, the seats themselves. I wanted to make a quick little video to show how easy it is to remove these seats before we get onto the build. So without further ado, let's get to it. <coughs> All right, so now that everything's out of the vehicle and you're ready to start, the first thing I do is remove these headrests because sometimes the headrests get in the way of folding flat. So pop off your headrest. It's just a little button on the side. So one and two, then lay the seats down flat right on top of the bottoms. And we're gonna start on the top half. That way we don't take the bottom half out and then the front half don't have anything to rest on. So we're gonna do the top and then the bottom, and then we'll pretty much be done at that point. Once you've reached this point, you're actually halfway done, believe it or not. And all you'll need is a 14 millimeter and a ratchet. I grabbed an extension just to make things a little bit easier. You'll find these two folds right here. There's three push pins, three in this one and four in this one. All you do, grab it from the side, pry it up. little velcro right here to keep it down same thing with this side and you're going to expose one two three and four grab your ratchet pop them all off all you gotta do now is basically just lift up on these brackets and then shimmy the seat right out and this side is basically the same. Lift up on your brackets. Shimmy the seat down just a little bit. Get caught in the bracket. This one's a little different because it has a seat belt mounted into it. And as you can see, the seat belt is stuck here. It's routed through the seats. All you gotta do is take off this little silver bracket down here using the same 14 millimeter. This one is a little tough, so you got to put some muscle into it because it is literally trying to save your life. And that one pops out like that. And then once you pop that out, there's going to be a little sensor wire right here. Depress the little clip and then pull it out just like that. All you got to do is lift your seat right on out. After you get the front out, the bottom is just as simple. It's just held by a few retaining clips and all you gotta do is just pry up on the seat. If my seat wasn't broken. And I'll show you what just happened there. Do the same thing to this side. If your seat's not broken like mine is. And literally, just lift it right out. All right, if you saw me just struggle with the first pull, it's because when I pulled the seat, the styrofoam ripped off. So I was having trouble actually pulling the seat up because it was disconnecting. But literally, all it is is these two retaining rods right here, one and two. And as you can see from right here, they pop out from right there, but the styrofoam literally just ripped right off. That side was good, but this side was not. As you can see, I have a lot of cleanup to do. And this is where it went. All right, so after you remove the rear seat, the upper seat, now this is what you're left with. You can work with just this, but I suggest removing these brackets, which are literally held in by two bolts. This bracket by two bolts and then this bracket, two bolts. I take it one step further and take off these two bolts right here to remove these side brackets. I may make a bracket off of these, giving me a platform right here. I'm not 100% sure yet. And then the same thing with this side, two brackets right here. And then this seat belt harness is literally one bolt right there in the center. I don't know if you can see it, it's pitch black. 
and then you can remove all these brackets and have all this open space to work with. I'm also going to be laying some sound detonator right here all over. And then I'm going to carpet it with some black carpet so you basically won't see these big portholes right here. I'm going to go ahead and remove all these brackets. These big bracket right here is still the same 14 millimeter as your seats. Same as these two and the same as on the wall right there. These two smaller brackets right here, these are 12 millimeters. And then also the seat belt bracket right here is also 14. So 14, 14, 14, 14, 12. After you get these bolts out of these brackets right here that hold the back of the bottom seat, there's going to be a wire connected to them. All you got to do is compress the white clip on both sides and slide it through. And how I do it, I grab some needle nose. That's all I have with me right now. Compress on both sides. And then the wire should slide right out. All right, so the back is just as simple as the front. It's literally one false floor. And then also this nifty little, I don't know if y'all knew this, but you can have your rear cargo area covered back here under your floor. Cool little feature. And this is basically what I'm gonna build off of. I'm gonna put a piece of wood right here and then have another platform going up there. I'm just spitballing ideas right now. I won't know until I actually get into that mindset. But yeah, that's how simple it is to remove your seats. I may even remove this, I'm not 100% sure. But if I remove this, I gotta remove the spare tire because this is the same height as the spare tire. And I don't wanna remove the spare tire. But yeah, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and I'll catch you on the next one.